Hello again on your day, a new project, and here I have something to show you. Thanks to Lionel from uh, shopappixel.com. You have the link in the description. Here we go. Ba -bam. Okay, so here we have an Apixel APL MS008 digital handheld microscope. Very interesting. Let's see what we got in the box. Apixel handheld microscope. Q instructions, characteristics. Okay. Plastic layer here. That's the little guy. What more inside here? We have a USB-C cable for charging and data, of course. A punch for a easy deposit and transport. Nice. And of course, instructional. A small pamphlet about how to use and uh, some other characteristics. Okay, my dear people, so this is the Apixel uh, microscope. Let's have some description about. So this guy, it's like 15 centimeters long. It's very portable. It have a battery inside. We can say uh, 12 to 24 magnification. Here it says lateral magnification 1.9 to 1. The diameter of the view is 2.3 millimeters. The focus distance is between minus 4 millimeters and plus 4 millimeters. We have a achromatic objective lens. We have a multi-layer coating. The LED, it's about 400 lumens. The color temperature of the LED is 7000K. The display, it's a 2-inch IPS 321-240. We have a CMOS sensor, CMOS 720p. The battery life, it's about 2.5 hours. It have 700 milliamps hour and it can be charged with a normal charger, you know, like 5 volts, 1 amp. Okay, let's have some uh, talking and some looks at the buttons here. This is the on off button. Then we have plus and minus. That's for digital magnification. And also with a long press, we have the LED illumination level. Here is the menu. And uh, on the side, we have the SD card slot and the type C USB connector. When we are connecting this by the USB cable supplied to a power adapter, charger, then we should see a red LED when it's charging. You got it? There we have it. And of course that one turns to green once the charge is done. On the side here, nothing else specially. So this is the focus adjustment. The focal length, in fact, in the front, you see, it's moving in and out. And that's how the, the clarity is done. Let's turn it on. Welcome screen. Thank you very much. Asking for a SD card. We'll do that later. Here, this number one, it's the luminosity or the LED light level. We can alter that simply pressing long or number two so we have two one and zero three levels of uh, light we are in the shooting mode here obviously no as a card the battery level and let's take a look science on the pamphlet wow this is huge really and if we consider this, we can even use the digital zoom. And look there, amazing. You can see the drops, the ink drops. Let's go back. And uh, let's see about the menu here for now. We are on menu mode. We have the shooting method, what that means. 
Oh, signal shoot, two seconds timer. Okay, we have a kind of timer. Nice. 10 seconds timer. Hmm, interesting. Okay, back. Continuous shooting. One, three, five. I suppose that's the number of shootings. Pictures in loop, of course. Five minutes. Yeah, we can see the growth of the cells or some other long time, you know, uh, processes. Interesting. Sharpness. Strong and standard. Okay. And color. Okay. Exposure compensation. Nice. Quick preview. Date label. Okay. What's this date label? Close. Open. All right. The other side of the menu. It's screen protection. Probably it's, uh, it's displaying an image after a few seconds. Automatic shutdown. Okay, where are you? Here. It's closing by itself after a, after a while. Line assistant. What is that? Close. Okay. I suppose this is for having lines on the screen. I don't want that. So we'll go to close. Language settings. Date and time. We are on time here already. 2023. Okay, good to go. What else? Format the SD card and default setting and version. This is version MS008 from 26th of November 2022. Oh, very, very fresh, I may say. Okay, so that's about the menu. As you can see, you don't need the stand because this plastic thingy, it's exactly the size needed to have a proper distance to the examined objects. And let me see a piece of plant here, of green plant. I have it in my office. Oh, look there. That's amazing. Let's try to focus better. Uh-huh. Look at the details. Amazing. And now we can even go higher with the digital magnification. Do we need a better lightning? Yeah, let's... We are now on step two. Maximum lightning, 400 lumens. And we can examine the objects. Do we have any problem here? Yeah, I can see a brown spot there. What is that about? And here too, this can be an algae or bacteria or something or fungi. Oh yeah, why not? Hmm, what's that? It's like a growing tip or something. Okay, let's turn the digital magnification down. Highlight. Oh, here also. So they can be a kind of disease. I'm not so good with biology, but anyway. Digital magnification on. Look there. Okay. So here we are with, uh, let's say, easy setup. <laughs> By the way, let's have a look at uh, a piece of hair. Wow. Interesting. Let's put the digital on. Well, so far I may say that it's very easy to use. It's perfect for uh, field trips, field experiments. It's working. Amazing. Nice. Next, I'm going to connect this to the computer because we have, uh, we have this possibility. And let's take a look on the computer. But before that, let's analyze some electronic board. Something like this. Okay, that's an electronic board. I dismantled a few days ago. Can we use this for analyzing or checking the boards for faults, for short, for discolored parts? 
okay let me turn the digital zoom we don't need that it's too much already okay let's start from here well I may say it's an amazing quality you can see this little guy this little I see here 6Q207 and we can check if the soldierings are well done on the legs I don't know if I call it an advantage or uh, or not but you can simply move the board and press the microscope on the board and the focal length it's already set we can watch carefully the the aspect of the parts you can easily see if if a capacitor it's discolored ready to blow up or already blown writings oh it's a huge magnification so uh, course it's perfect for examination small boards with small parts like I have here you can barely see it with your open eye okay let's connect this to the computer I'm really curious about uh, the quality of the magnification of the view okay so here we have the menu like memory PC camera and charge only we are going to PC camera there okay the computer it's installing the drivers USB PHY 2.0 okay it's already installed let's take a look shall we open let me open OBS studio okay so now the microscope is connected to the computer obviously we got no more light adjustment but let's take a look at the picture it's amazing nice okay so these are the writings on the pamphlet we saw that before obviously there is no more digital zoom that's nice to understand okay this area should be a kind of gray it's kind to understand how the colors are mixed together to have the gray and this one in the original photo it's black this is black look there dark dark black all those nice pixels you know like colored pixels in fact giving the whole image and here we have obviously a reddish something the magnification it's absolutely amazing okay let's take a look to a piece of plant a piece of leaf here clear this you see those little dots there those are cells amazing no we can even see the particular cells interesting we can check the um, leaf for fungus and any other problems you see now the microscope it's laying on the table so uh, it's a very steady picture we don't need to adjust anything once it's done 
it's at the proper height okay there we go what's that what's that that's interesting those chills there ha huh? very very interesting the image is pretty sharp I may say maybe too sharp let's call it the sharpness it's on so maybe I should disconnect that but just let it be for now look there very interesting details I love it let's have a look to some pieces of hair human hair in fact adjust the magnification on the focal length Yes, that's the guy. You see the surface is not is not so smooth like I thought. And in the middle we can see the channel. There is an you know it's like a tube. And that helps the nutrients, you know, goes into the hair. This is keratin. A healthy piece of hair or thread of hair needs to be fed you see very interesting good magnification now let's take a look to some electronic parts this should be interesting like I said before once it's adjusted the focal length doesn't need any other fixing you see okay There we have a capacitor, resistor, we can check very nice for the soldering at the edge of the chips. Way too much. Okay, let me stop this. I want to see if the digital magnification is on and how it's looking with the sharpness off. Okay, so uh, the digital magnification, it's off, it was off before, but uh, now I took out the sharpness to a standard value. I may say the image, it's kind of better, softer, But I think it's way too large. And of course, we can't work under the microscope because this microscope now it's touching the board. Anyway, it's very useful for inspecting the boards. Let's say I can go higher a little bit there we go compromise we can change the focal length manually somehow and we can take a look at the board from a distance it's like three millimeters above the board Yes, very interesting. Okay, so that's it about uh, recording or how can I say seeing the camera, the microscope camera through the PC and recording with a PC software about The next uh, test, it's with some pictures and videos recorded 
directly into the camera into the SD card okay so uh, here we have a last test I'm gonna have a SD card inserted into the microscope like this let's format the card to be sure that everything is fine like this down 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 format yes the little data of course confirm and now it's formatting I have to be sure about and I'm gonna have it 1x maximum light let me have some green stuff <laughs> leaves before shooting uh, the video on the internal SD card we have to do some adjustments first of all let's go to menu here and now we have the video menu and now we have the resolution let's do it the maximum resolution 1080 okay I didn't know that I thought it's only 720 but we'll see about that later loop video of course not close exposure compensation yeah maybe one okay what else date label okay let's have the date label on that's it we are ready for shooting 1080 okay so let's give a try the as a card it's in we are recording we have the length of recording up here and let's take a look to some of these um, letters on the pamphlet huge <laughs> beautiful and uh, let me show you something interesting you can see down here we have a gray color in this area let's take a look under the microscope and we can see only colored dots yellow blue so we are we are perceiving we are we are seeing that uh, a gray one but in fact it's only colored dots and look at the black here is black no it should be black look at the colors very interesting okay let's move to some green stuff some pieces of leaves obviously it's too big it doesn't fit under the lens or the, in fact the plastic spacer okay there we are And now we can even put the digital zoom on. Look at those tiny chills at the end of the leaf. Interesting, no? So this is a direct recording inside the microscope. Okay. Maximum light and minimum zoom. All right, let's try some uh, some electronic board. We can clearly see parts. We saw that before. Connector. Okay, nice can check the connector status you know that connector it's tiny it's barely <laughs> barely seen with open eye so I think this is a good tool for for um, inspecting the boards coil capacitor ribbon connector here
Let's take a look at this coil. Oh man, this is huge. Look there. Okay, so that's it for uh, the little Apexel handheld microscope APL MS008. Interesting tool, useful tool. Well, you have to decide for that. Of course, I'm going to use it. I'm really glad. Thank you again, Apexel Shop or Shop Apexel. In fact, you have the link uh, in the description for sending me this. Of course, what can I say? From my point of view, I'm using it for, let's say, I want to use it for electronics. So far, I can inspect the boards. It should be better to have a stand or something, but uh, we'll see in the future. This is a very new product, new on the market. So there are a lot of improvements to be done. I'm thinking about working with these guys from Apexel for having this kind of microscope with this setup for working under the microscope, you know, working the boards. I think it's possible. The camera is pretty capable with the definition. That's it for today. I hope it's useful. Like always, please like, subscribe. And the most important thing, don't forget, have fun. Bye bye.